it's a little chilly today. Hey, fellow cartoonists, welcome to another Cartooning Courses. I'm glad you're here with me on a, uh, yeah, it's kind of a chilly, chilly afternoon a little bit here in California. Um, as I'm taping this, it's, it's February and it just, um, yeah, I don't know, it feels really chilly in here. Maybe I just need to turn on the heat. I don't know. Anyways, guys, thanks for joining me uh, today. And what I thought I would talk about is um, something always went through my head um, as a emerging cartoonist. And it's still, you know, I still kind of wonder this question. What is making it in cartooning? Is making it, um, does that mean you need to be like full time and doing nothing else? Uh, does it mean that you're just... Um, you're doing it um, as a hobby and you're very fulfilled with that. You know, like what is making it as a cartoonist? And to answer that question, I can answer that directly right now within what, one minute of this video? Making it is whatever you want it to be. That's it. Bottom line. Now don't turn me off just yet. Now that I just gave you the answer. Um, because I have a feeling like you have big goals for what you want to do. Maybe not. Maybe, you know, you're just interested in cartooning. So you're watching this and trying to figure it all out. That's cool too. But no, my honest opinion is making it is whatever you want it to be. Because I know I used to back in the day, especially look at cartoonists who I thought were quote, unquote, making it. And I thought to make it as a cartoonist is full time. You're not doing anything else. Um, and that's it. Um, I can tell you now, after years of experience, uh, it's really, it's kind of funny, I guess, to me, that there's a lot of cartoonists out there who I think are, like, making it, killing it. Just I envisioned them, you know, just uh, doing nothing but cartooning. I always wondered how they do that. And my perceptions were very wrong. Uh, you would be shocked to find out in this field of cartooning how many people are working a day job while getting um, New Yorker cartoons published. They may be working as a waiter or something else. Um, how many cartoonists are, are teaching or teachers and then doing cartooning also in a big way? Like maybe they have cartoons picked up in a as magazine or something. Um, there's a lot of syndicated cartoonists out there too that just, you know, aren't like killing it with money. Um, some cartoonists live off their uh, their trust funds, you know. I'm sure that happens out there too, that they can just cartoon all day long and uh, the bills are paid. You know, the other side of the coin is there are cartoonists really, really freaking making it, doing a great job. Um, that's all they do. And when I say that, like, that's their sole source of income. Um, but, you know... That being said, I don't think it's just income that makes you a cartoonist. Um, again, everyone's definition is going to be different. My personal definition of making it as a cartoonist was that this was my career. This was all I would eventually do. And, you know, with that, though, too, there's a lot of different um, avenues, um, streams of income and things like that, that come with cartooning. You know, I'm not just doing one thing. I don't just, um, you know, draw for one, one company and that's it. Or, um, I don't work as an in-house, uh, cartoonist that just, and, and that's it. You know, I, I have these v various projects that come together. And I think that, um, again, this is going to be different with everybody. So th the definition for me of making it is, yes, my soul living um, right now is based off of cartooning. And I say based off of cartooning because, again, I have a lot of different things I'm doing. Um, some of it's writing. Uh, you know, uh, part of it is um, the cartooning aspect, aspect of it itself. Sometimes it's putting together uh, presentations that involve cartoons. Um, there's a lot of different things. You know, it's not just drawing all day long, great funny pictures, and that's it. No, there's a lot of different avenues. And I have like, um, I merchandise things. Merchandise, that's not the right word. I I have things available out there like on cartoon stock for people to download. So it's like work I've done that's already out there. Um, I have greeting cards. I have, there's a variety of things. So, but it has um, eventually I've gotten to where I want. I'm doing cartooning full time, and that's what I defined as making it. And if you know my story, you know that I've I've worked numerous um, day jobs throughout my life to that were not cartoon related to uh, kind of get to where I'm at. So it's taken a long time. It's taken a lot of uh, experience and a lot of trial and error, and um, doing this and that to get to where you want to be. And 
I feel like I have put it to you this way. I feel like I've made it, but I also, I'm constantly wanting to learn and do more. Um, so making it for me is kind of a never ending process. I don't feel like it will ever end. You know, if I'm fortunate enough to make it to a hundred years old, I'll probably be looking at some other way to do cartooning or something that I want to do. So there's a lot of different things, uh, with cartooning to make it, but okay. You know, you could be doing it as a hobby and let's say you just wanted to have one cartoon um, hung up on the wall of your favorite restaurant or something like that. And that might be making it for you. So there's a lot of different ways to look at it. I don't see, I look at it as like, listen, don't limit yourself. Don't set yourself short with whatever you want, want to do. And, you know, write down what you want to do with cartooning to quote unquote make it. Um, and try to hit that point. And I think you'll find too, if you hit that point, you're going to want to do more on top of that as well. Um, so yeah, that's really an easy answer for you guys. And I'm not going to just keep, you know, dwelling on the, uh, the subject. I think you get it. Like making it as a cartoonist is a lot of, it's a variety of different things. And don't think that if you see a successful cartoonist out there, like they're making it and you're not, um, it's going to be different for everybody. Everyone has a different course. Everyone has different goals. And that person that you think is making it might not be actually. Maybe that person, you know, is wanting to go full time or something and he's just not there yet. He or she, it doesn't matter. You know, but perspective, like when you see on Facebook and Instagram, these artists, and that's what I used to do all the time. You get on social media and you see these, you know, cartoonists with new books and everything. And you're like, man, they're just freaking killing it. They're so lucky. Like, you know, think they're lucky. Um, for one thing, it's not just typically lucky. Like it takes a lot of work to uh, to do certain things, get a book and all that. And I'm me, I, I'm I'm still working on that part. I have uh, self published books and I've published a few in the past, but nothing as substantial as I want to get to. And that's um that's an avenue I'm working on actually. But you know, I I see a lot of successes in some people that I wish I had. Um, but then sometimes I think you know, they may look at some of the stuff I've done too and feel the same way. So it's a big, you know, I think it's, it's definitely something that varies with everybody and whatever your definition of making it is, Hey, go ahead and define that and, um, and, and, and make it there, you know, just do everything you can write down some goals, hang them up. Um, you know, again, I've always said, I'm not trying to get all preachy on you, but if you, I totally believe like in a higher power and just like, um, you know, hey, ask questions to the universe or God or whoever you have and try to get an answer. And a lot of times it'll come to you and you'll get there. You just have to get there. And as soon as you figure out that you're making it and you kind of know you're there, uh, take it to the next level if you want to or see where you're at and see how you feel. Anyways, I'm going to leave it at that. That's just, This is just like real quick video again. Uh, I feel like I ramble sometimes at the end of these because I don't know. I don't want to keep them too short, right? <laughs> well, there's nothing wrong with that either. Um, so I hope you enjoyed it. I'd like to know too, like what, what is your definition of making it as a cartoonist? Like what is, what is it you want to do? Like what's your, um, what's your end game if you have an end game, which I really don't think you will. Most artists that I know, and it's tricky, but I, as soon as they get to a point they want to be, most of them try to do something else. You know, you always hear there's like the blue period with uh, Picasso and, you know, they have these different, um, things they go through and I th most cartoonists I think are in the same boat like you do something you want to try to do more and more and more typically that's not everybody but um anyway what's I'd love to hear in the comments like what your definition of making it is and are you there yet um do you have a ways to go like what you know where are you at with things and it's exciting to hear your your path and your journey um because that's what makes it all special and worthwhile at the end of the day um the path to get there it really there's a method to this madness, trust me. So I'd love to hear from you. Just uh, leave a comment. I, I'm pretty good at getting back at them, actually, responding. And um, if you haven't yet, I mention it every video. I have a, th a free three-part cartooning course. You can definitely take, there's a link below, um, check out cartooningcourses.com. There's information on that. Totally free, and it kind of gets your feet wet or wherever you're at, actually, with cartooning. You might pick up something off of that. So all right, guys. Until next time, I'll talk to you later. And turn the heat on. It's cold. It's still cold. All right, guys. Talk to you later.